Google is sending some scary emails out again. Let me show you the one that I received. The email is sent from Webmaster Tools. If you don't have that connected to your site, you're losing out on a lot of really important information that Google has on your website. So they sent this to me and they're the ones that usually send these types of emails. And it says video indexing issues found on your website. And it goes on to explain that there is something new that they're offering in Webmaster Tools and it's rolling out. Out, and that is a video indexing report. It says it right here. And it tells you that the report's gonna show indexed pages on your site where Google found a video, whether Google could index the video, and if not, why not? So this new report is going to tell you if there's an issue indexing videos on your site and it's very scary for you or if webmaster tools is going out to your clients because they've never seen an email like this before regarding video saying there's an issue with their website now I logged in and this is what it shows for me. There's a new option here that says video pages. And when you scroll down, it's telling me a breakdown of issues with different videos on my site. So this particular one says there's still 111 videos to process. At this point, 45 of them, they could, it says Google could not determine the prominent video on the page. And that's the concerning thing. And then the last issue it's reporting is no thumbnail URL provided. This is actually a very easy fix. When you get an email like this, you really have to look at it and check out the substance of it. Webmaster Tools will send this to you or if you have clients to them and it would probably freak them out if Google's emailing them saying there's a problem and it's probably not gonna reflect good on you if you created the website for them, even though it's not your fault at all. So since I make a video product for WordPress, got the whole team together when I got this email so we could figure out what the heck is going on how can we fix this and is there anything that we can do and this is what we came up with now here's the specific page regarding this new video indexing report i'll put a link to it in the video description so you can read through it for yourself but when you scroll down it gives you information about the report using the report the issues that might be surfacing inside of the report and then down here it speaks to the specific issues that might be reported and kind of giving you information about them so the one that most people are going to end up getting dinged on is this one right here and you can see this is what it was saying for me google cannot determine the prominent video on the page and this goes on to say that google knows there's a video on the page but there's some kind of an issue there and that issue has to do with lazy loading content unfortunately so lazy loading content especially videos is a setting in just about every single video player if you're using the video player in say elementor or your page builder guaranteed it's going to have an option to lazy load the video content this is what's causing the issue that google sees there's a video but if you're lazy loading it it's not prominent enough for it to be indexed and so it's a simple fix for right now you simply just need to disable lazy loading those videos that you want google to index so I set up a page here with Elementor just to give you an example and show you where this setting is. I've got a video on here and I'm in the video settings right here. So it says uh, edit video and you can see there's an option right here that says lazy load. And when you enable this, you don't really see anything different, but it does affect how your page loads when a visitor goes to your page. So you would just toggle this off and that error should definitely go away. Now, I know many of you guys are using Presto Player. It's the video product that I have that I've been, I released last year. A lot of people use it. It's on almost 60,000 websites. Let me show you how to do that. So you go to posts, actually go to the video, sorry. Uh, and here's where I happen to have a video. There it's loaded. And so we have our lazy loading option in our presets. And so here's a custom preset that I have set up. And when you go to the behavior tab, 
and scroll down specifically for YouTube. It has this option here that says lazy load videos. You can toggle this off for those videos that you don't want to have come up with this error. And then what you would do is whatever tool you're using to add videos, if it's not Presto Play or Elementor, that's okay. Go ahead and disable the lazy loading. And this is like a temporary thing. So what we're doing at Presto Player is we're investigating this further to see if there's anything we can do to still have lazy loading, but to uh, not have any of these issues with the video indexing report. So in the video description of this video, I'll put any further updated information that we might discover related to this, but this is like a brand new thing. This email is going out to people like you, if you have webmaster tools or your clients, and I just thought you'd want to know what is going on here without you having to do all of the research. As usual, go ahead and click on the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.